The Columbia Boone County Health Department could soon update its local COVID-19 restrictions. A spokesperson says the health department expects to make an announcement about the policy sometime during the week of May 25th. You heard about the possible update over those restrictions late this later this month as breaking news on ABC 17 News at 5. The next steps in Boone County's recovery plan could include allowing more people in businesses. Some non-essential businesses like bars and pools could also reopen under the updated restrictions. And arguments were heard today over a lawsuit that challenges COVID-19 related restrictions for Boone County. And we first told you about this lawsuit filed on Monday by the owner of Tiger Tots Daycare located in Columbia. The lawsuit seeks to remove restrictions issued by the directors of the Columbia Boone County Health Department late last month. ABC 17's Amber Tabling joins us live tonight from outside the Boone County Courthouse in downtown Columbia. Amber, the owner of Tiger Tots Daycare believes Director Stephanie Browning overstepped her authority. Deborah Lucas, I did listen into that hearing this morning and Tiger Tots owner Paul Prevo said that they believe that the local health department order does have many constitutional issues involved with it and that the reopening orders goal was to flatten the curve and they said once that was done there would be no need for the order to exist anymore. Now Thad Mu Muholland, Tiger Tots attorney said he doesn't think there's any rational justification to have separate orders for Columbia and Boone County that don't exist for the neighboring counties as Columbia has been better in low COVID-19 numbers than many of the neighboring counties and regional counties who are not under specific local orders like Columbia and Boone County are. What we have is these continued uh, the continued enforcement of these local orders judge is going to result in economic devastation to Columbia and Boone County. There's just no other way to put it. Now, CJ Dykhouse said that who is Boone County's attorney argued that public health measures have been taken to protect people's freedom of harm. And Dykehouse said that in Jacobson versus Massachusetts from 1905, it explains that many states may implement measures that infringe on constitutional rights subject to certain limitations. Now, Dykehouse said that the community does have a right to protect itself against an epidemic or disease which threatens the safety of its members. The rights of the individual in respect of his liberty may at times, under the pressure of great danger, be subjected to restraint to be enforced by reasonable regulations as the safety of the general public may demand. And later at 6.30, here Tiger Tots owner Paul Prevost's reaction to the hearing. Live in Columbia, Amber Tabling, ABC 17 News. All right, Amber, thank you. Even though Judge Jacobs denied the temporary restraining order, it doesn't mean the case is officially over. What happens next and when the next hearing will be is still up in the air.